Hey everybody, Sarah here again. I'm sorry that I am once again not going to be able to get you the book review. Uh, I'm still recovering from surgery and having a hard time with it, so I'm going to be giving you another hatching video. I want to say quickly thank you again to all of the members over here. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, if anybody else would like to become a member, it's $2 a month and you get exclusive content. You'll get access to lives after they are over and you will also get your own little video upload every single week. I also want to thank Reptilinks for sort of helping to sponsor this channel as well. Uh, they've really been helping me out with feeding my snakes, and as you guys know, I have loved Reptilinks for a very, very long time. So you can use my code SARAHSNAKE27 at checkout to get $5 off of Reptilinks. It helps you, it helps me, and they also have a $100 money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. So there's really not that much risk if your snakes don't like it. Uh, so I definitely recommend giving them a try. I also want to mention that I have snakes and snake accessories up on my website right now. So if you're interested in buying a snake from me, uh, baby season is starting to really take off. So you can go to sarahsnakeshop.com for that. I'm also going to continue with the 10% off of my website. Use the code CLUTCH83. I'm just going to continue that through next week, sort of again as a, I'm really sorry that I haven't gotten the book review video out to you guys. Uh, so this is actually going to follow CLUTCH84, but that CLUTCH83 was last week's code on my website, and it'll continue into uh, by the time that next week's video is up. So I hope that you enjoy this hatching video. It's Tuesday, June 16th, and we are also on baby watch for two more clutches. Right now, the snows are currently uh, all coming out of their eggs, so if you watch that video, uh, that is also what's happening right now, is uh, there's like three or four more left in their eggs that still need to come out. But they have two clutches that were both laid on the 17th of April that are due pretty much any day. It's the 16th, so it's been almost exactly 30 days now. Uh, or I'm sorry, 60 days now. And uh, so we are waiting on these two. These are Miranda's eggs with uh, nectarine. And so I'm expecting uh, ultramoles, ultramole anneries, snows, and um, amels all to be like reverse okati okati uh, looking babies. Um, I did candle these. I'm not, I don't, you know, I'm not, uh, since they're all albino, I'm not too focused on which ones are and are not albinos in this. Except for maybe the, um, the annery versions, the uh, ultramill anneries, but still. We'll, we'll just see them when we see them with these. Um, I, I, I kind of already know what we're getting since I bred her to a very similar male last year, and so I kind of know what to expect with them. Well, it is Monday the 20th of June, and we have two clutches pipping. We have Miranda's, and we have... Uh, the Casanova Francesca clutch pipping. All right, this is Miranda's clutch with nectarine. You can see there's a little ultramel anery sticking its nose out right there. Um, this is the uh, uh, Okati Halo Snow to a an ultramel Okati Het Anery. So I'm expecting Okati and or Halo versions of Amels, Ultramels, Ultramel Aneries, and Snows. Uh, any of the amel types will probably be held back just to see what their colors are going to be like, but um, non amel versions like Ultramel and uh, Ultramel Anery will probably be put up for sale. Here we have Miranda and Nectarine's Clutch. Uh, this egg, this one over here, I think was the first one that pipped earlier. I can't really remember. It might have been, it, obviously it was one of these two, I don't remember. Um, but you can see a little bit of blood here. Um, blood happens. This does not mean that the snake has anything wrong with it. The eggs on the inside have their own veins. And sometimes when the babies are cutting their way out, they will nick one of those little veins. As long as it's not one of the big main veins, it's fine. And as you can see, there's just a little tiny bit of blood on this one. So um, it's not like the snake is bleeding out in there or anything like that, especially since it's the day of hatching. Uh, there's a really good chance that the snake has, is just sitting in there absorbing um, the yolk. I wish that they would kind of stick their heads out for us, but they are really wanting to do that right now. So um, I might kind of sit here and just wait with the camera off and then turn it back on when or if they poke their heads out. All right, so the AML uh, was the newest one to pip, and it kind of came out with a vengeance. I was kind of sitting here, like, waiting, and then all of a sudden, boom, AML nose puffed out. Um, and part of the neck too. But yeah, so we have a nice little amelinistic there. 
Uh, this clutch uh, was supposed to have some like nice Okatee borders. Hard to tell just yet, obviously, if we're going to get that in this clutch. But um, it's it's nice to see at least one Amel last year when I paired this female. Uh, but she didn't give me near as many Amel types as I was hoping. Uh, which I'm not going to complain about all the Ultra Melanaries that I got from her. But I was kind of hoping for some reverse Okatees from her as well. Um, if you'll remember, she is an Ultra Mel Okatee. And she bred to a Halo Snow Okatee this time. Looks like the Ultra Mel Anery is maybe trying to pull its head back in. They probably, they might both. The Amel is almost acting like it just wants to come right out. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to let them do their thing. Oh hey, nice big breath there. That was cute. Their noses can get a little bit clogged with the albumin, which is the uh, egg white. And so sometimes they'll kind of take a breath through their mouth like that. Um, I look forward to seeing these uh, the rest of these hatch. I don't expect, I don't think I'm going to be cutting these eggs. They're thin enough. They're almost so thin I can actually see the snakes like moving inside of them. Like it, you can't hardly see it on camera, but uh, when this little guy moves around, um, I can definitely see the sort of the darkness of its body inside the egg. So the shells are thin enough. I'm not worried about these babies getting out. The only time that I would maybe cut any of the eggs is... Um, like, I might wait until tomorrow morning, and if they've, like, all cut but one or two, I may go ahead and do those last two. Um, and I I don't really want to show any cutting of eggs on video, just because I don't necessarily condone it. I, I don't necessarily say that you shouldn't do it either, but um, for corn snakes, it's really not that necessary, unless you're worried about, like, scaleless snakes not being able to get out of the eggs, or in the case of something like the Golden Project, it's a really rare project, and... I want to make sure to save as many of those babies as possible from drowning. Uh, so, anyway, there's those two. We will await the rest. Alright, here's an update on Miranda and Nectarine's clutch. The, uh, supposed to be Okatees, although I'm not really seeing much of an Okatee look in this baby. Uh, this Ultramelanery is out. Very pretty baby. Uh, very light colored. I really love these light colored Ultramelanaries. Um, I look forward to seeing what they look like when they're older. Sometimes they hatch out and they're dark, but this one's very light, almost purple. Uh, and in here we have, I think, the Amel that pipped. And then there's another one over here. I haven't checked to see what the morph of this one is yet, but its nose was kind of poking out a little bit earlier, so it's breathing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this one, its own enclosure, and then we will check on them in the morning. It's the next morning with Miranda's clutch. We have one more little Amel out. Which is what I was expecting. Uh, a little disappointed that it's not like obviously a good reverse Okatee, but that's okay. Um, I'm just like ecstatic with all of these babies in general. Um, I love all of them. So we have this one that's pipped, this one pipped, this one, uh, this one here, and these two. It looks like we have these three holdouts. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this Amel in its own enclosure and then we're uh, back to the waiting game again. This very unusual baby just popped its head out. It looks like a mask. Uh, it's an ultramillionary. Oh, oh hey, you didn't have to come all the way out. I was just gonna look at your belly, but okay. Doesn't have a mask belly, but... Oh hey, nope, we're not gonna be falling today. We're not gonna be doing that, nope. All right, well. Very cool, very interesting that it has like a mask head pattern, but very a little um, trace of that mask on the belly. It is the morning of July 22nd and we have two more babies out. Maybe three. Actually, I think this might be two. Yep, there's two babies in there. So we have our snow and I think we finally got a reverse Okatee. Uh, these two both, uh, at least the one whose tail is coming up over here, uh, look very nice reverse Okatees or look like re reverse Okatee. Sorry, I haven't had my coffee yet. Uh, we're still waiting on a few to come out of the egg, but this egg is empty. I'm gonna throw some empties out there. Always squeeze them to make sure that they're definitely empty because sometimes we get twins. And there we go. I'm gonna give these three enclosures and we got three more holdouts in this clutch. And hopefully they will be out by the end of the day. They were poking their noses out before I came in here, but they hide when I walk in, so. So the last three from Miranda's Clutch are two snows and an Amel. Um, the snows are still in the eggs. The Amel did come out. 
Uh, if you want pictures of all these babies, uh, you'll have to either follow my Instagram, which is Joy Princess Sarah. I'll uh, link it in the description. Or you can go to my Facebook, which is probably the best place to go because that's where I pretty much document everything. That's where you're going to get all the pictures of every single baby all in one like folder and uh, the parents and all that information and the hatching date, all that stuff. So uh, it's just Sarah's Snake Shop on Facebook. I will also link that in the description. That's definitely going to be the best place, but I understand that a lot of people are like, oh, Facebook's for old people. So if you don't want a Facebook, I completely understand. Uh, you can also contact me on Instagram as well if you would like to to see all these pictures of all these babies. Um, I keep glancing down looking at the, the last two eggs with two more snows. Uh, so let me get the final count on uh, what morphs we have. Uh, I'm not going to do gender just yet since there are two more in the eggs, but at least give you a final count on the morphs that we got. All right, final count is five snows, four amels, and two ultramel anneries. I think that's a really nice mix. I was really hoping that we would get some like Ultramel Oketees, but I don't plan by any means to uh, sell either of these parents. Uh, I really like the way that their babies have turned out so far. And I really just, I, I love that this is the first time I've really felt like I've gone out of my way to try to produce any Oketee anything. And so, um, Definitely going to be keeping this pair, probably breeding them again next year. And um, all of the Ultramel anneries will probably be for sale. I don't foresee myself um, keeping them. I will very likely also sell all of the Reverse Okatees. Don't really see any reason for me to keep those either. Uh, however, I'm going to be holding back at the very least all of the Snows and maybe the Amels. Uh, just to see what their their colors are like. Uh, we'll see. I'll probably keep them all until the snow's colors start showing up and then by then I'll probably have decided what I'm going to do with the amels um, because some of them are probably going to be halo. Uh, statistically I think about half will be but it's hard to know obviously which and even amels when they're older sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes with amels it takes like two or three years before you start to see that yellow. Whereas with snows, it's easier to see the yellow at like two or three months. So we'll see. I hope that you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm hoping that I will be recovered enough to actually like do things uh, next week as far as like talk more. I'm just not able to really talk that much right now. I had surgery in my jaw, which is why I've not been really opening my mouth. I just really can't too much. So Thank you for being patient with me. I hope that you're enjoying these videos. And by next week, I hope to actually have a like whole complete video for you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then.